Well, sunshine managed to break through today, later in the day, but rain is returning in the forecast. Meteorologist Kate Bilo is tracking when this wet weather will arrive. Hi, Kate. Hi, Jessica. Yeah, tracking a pretty potent cold front, which is going to slide through tomorrow into early Wednesday, and it's going to bring about quite a change as far as temperature and humidity is concerned. In the meantime, what a beautiful evening it is outside. It is gorgeous right now. We've got relatively high humidity, but lots of sun, blue skies. It feels like summer. Nice evening to take a walk. Pretty soon we're going to be needing the coats and the jackets anytime we go outside. So enjoy an evening where you don't need those things. Temperatures across the map, anywhere from the low to upper 70s. It's 78 in Philly, 77 in Trenton, 72 in Atlantic City, a little cooler down the shore. Mount Pocono sitting at 68 right now. Storm Scan 3 shows just a few patchy clouds drifting through. Tonight should stay dry. There are a couple of spotty showers firing up in central PA. Those should stay away. But it's the front that you see off to the west, coupled with the moisture down uh, over the Carolinas, that's all going to lift in and kind of join forces, so to speak, as we head through tomorrow evening to bring heavy rain to the area and then an eventual noticeable cool down. 68 tonight with clouds gradually increasing. A stray shower possible late tonight. Tomorrow we'll have scattered showers on and off throughout the day. Some will be locally heavy. At other times it may stay dry, but it will be cloudy and damp. It's just not a very nice day. 77 degrees will be the high. The heaviest rain is at night. So timing this out, you can see tomorrow morning, Okay, but by noon, we've got scattered locally heavy showers already breaking out across the region. Into the evening, they're more widespread here and there, and then heavier rain comes through late tomorrow night, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, even after midnight. There's 4.30 a.m. with some of the heaviest downpours just starting to push off the coast. We'll gradually clear it out a few showers Wednesday morning, but then improving weather in the afternoon. It will turn breezy and the sun should come out by late in the day on Wednesday. Then another weak surface cold front comes through Thursday, but it should come through dry. As far as rainfall amounts, anywhere from an inch to two plus inches. The heaviest spots could see up to two and a quarter, possibly two and a half inches of rain before all is said and done, leading to the risk for flash flooding. It doesn't look like a widespread risk. We don't have a flash flood watch, but can't rule it out. The good news is that most of it's coming through the overnight hours, so it's not really going to be quite as intense as it will be if people were on the road. So your upper air patterns, some are like today, high pressure then builds in and by the end of the week, look at that blue over Canada, the fall chill returns and it turns much, much cooler and crisper. A beautiful stretch starting October 1st. So 77 tomorrow with showers and a storm, rain to start your Wednesday, then gradual clearing, 71 Thursday, and then a stretch of 60s. Sunny, crisp, and beautiful Friday right through the start of next week. Jessica, back over to you. Break out the sweaters, Kate. Thanks.